All right, we're back to do the first task. I assume task. you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. That once we'll you pick the three may house I leaders. ask a favor of you? Talk to them. We'll get to know them all. Oh, set up now. I imagine you were a bit surprised. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. Now you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Okay, Seth. That's one classroom. That only spot, it only showed me the one classroom. Claude, no, how well, are you? Scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Sure. Tell me about Lorenz. He's the heir of Gloucester Why territory. Why does his hair look if like that? If you haven't that? already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Talk to you. Tell me about Raph. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. He needs a bigger Despite shirt. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Actually, that's about it. Talk about Ignatz. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Got a lot of weaknesses. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Harsh. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Alright, that's yeah. my class that I'm gonna pick. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope... Hmm. I suppose... I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. I have got the point to know one Since house. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Which house will I choose? Black Eagles, Blue Lions, Golden Deer, so you Golden have... Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all sure. promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? I don't. Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flayne. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly... Who are you? Who is this? 
Who are you? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait. My class. What? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Yes. Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment, becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Gerald, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. He's not that well known. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes, I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. I'm gonna get you all killed. Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. So this is technically New Game Plus, so I can use currency I earned from my last game to do interesting things here, including changing appearances and skills. I have that amount of money. So what you first do with it is you go from Professor Level E to E Plus. That way I don't have to do any work. It's Ferdinand's birthday. No. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? Right, I'll do whatever I can to help too. 
I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomachs... Don't think about it. Yeah, yeah, wink wink, I read you. You can't officially condone that sort of thing, right? But Nonsense. say, hypothetically wink, speaking, wink. students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. Our scheme is that I use New Game Plus to it's make Lysithia broken. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. Are you serious, Teach? Well, if a crooked scheme is really what you're after, I've got more than a few of those up my sleeve. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude, Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. All right, who should I use for this first fight? I guess I'll have Marianne. I will take Lorenz. Lysithia is coming along. And I will pair up Lorenz. No, I'm not gonna pair him up with anyone. Marianne will get paired up with the mates. Claude will get paired up with Leone. Pair me up with Raphael. I have an intermediate suit, when did that happen? Oh, yeah, Claude has an Iron Axe. Actually, you know what? It might be a good idea to give him that. So he's got something to fall back on when he fails. Uh, let's give you a sword as well, just in case something might happen. So, this is the stage for the mock battle. The command's all yours, Teach. I'm sure you already understand. Incidentally. Alright, so students that are lost will not Leave stay lost. Me. Ready and willing. Stay there. focused. What you there? I stand ready. What you there? Who, me? What you right there? I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... <laughs> I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. <sighs> we are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, Your Highness. Leave it to me. Once you've finished preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. Ha! Yeah, nice try, Ferdinand. And she's already got 48% crit. <laughs> yeah, level one, that's not the type of crit you should have. You're irrelevant. Yeah, you're irrelevant, Ash. Uh, so strong. Have to do better next time. Of course I won. Yeah, I made you broken. Hey, look at you. Uh, no, I gotta get other people stuck. Lauren's take out Ferdinand. I'm 
the son of House Iyer. How did I fail? I must need to train harder. Naturally. Yeah, naturally. Train harder. Who's he going to attack? He's not listening who he's going to attack, and I don't like that. Claude, go into the trees. Hmm. You are performing as expected, Professor. Plus five. I mean, if I. It's not like she'll be lost forever if I do that, anyways, so. Don't have time for this. Ah, the new professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. You underestimated me. They sure did underestimate you. I don't have time for failure. And while you upgrade your magic, that's what's important. And don't heal with Cynthia, she needs to be low on health. Vulnerable. To keep her crit. Are you planning on fighting music. two houses at once? I will admit that is favorable for us. This is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead. You think you can take me, Han? does attack to do it gives room for Lorenz to finish him off the dude's just so beefy he's got how much defense he's got he's got 13 defense right at the start well now he's gone uh, apologies your highness I can go no further magnificent Lorenz is level two. I'm still not satisfied. And he's the first one to get a decent level up. Oh no, I don't want to do that because I'll get struck down by it's time. teacher man. Got a 55% chance. Yeah, kick her ass. I'm not supposed to have gambits right now. Demetri out of commission for this turn, and Mercedes will attack Lorenz. Or she'll heal. That works too. You can't compete with me. Go, Lorenz, go. Princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, best up. You'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. And that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. 
Yeah, that was not a very good scheme there, Claude. A healer in there. Take out You're Dimitri. You're a tough opponent, but I refuse to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. We must all do our part. My training was insufficient. Yep. 99% crit. Not supposed to happen in this early game. There's still a long way to go. Forced to retreat. Well, things. What's their range? That's their range. Alright, well, if I get. Them all out of the range wall, just attack the Scythia. Just fine by me. Because they won't get her. You're irrelevant. She just destroyed me. My, my. The new professor seems very capable. This is what I do. Although, are you out of. Yeah, you're out of it now. Go! Predict <laughs> Alright, well, the Scythia's down. Not exactly how I wanted it to go. Chip. Ow. Oh yeah. Well, I can take it. My goodness. The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is I put a little girl on the front lines, put her near death just so she could crit it everything. Was a good try. And then she finally died. The battlefield I experience. Expected as much. My Claude's becoming very didn't speedy. You compliment me like that when my class won last year. All right, Lorenz, let's get ready to take her out. You went in a direction I didn't expect. Luckily, we can stride. You can do it. Yeah, we got it. Much needed. It's up to you. Take her out. Hey, yeah, I don't want to. Stand aside. Yeah, you crit. Eight percent. Well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. You're outclassed. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is the Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. Victory! Lorenz is the MVP. Great work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. I'm glad we won. I've been anticipating that magic moment when your tactics and my schemes entwined, and you did not disappoint. You didn't do much, that Claude. That composed expression you always sport like a permanent mask is a perfect complement to my ruthless schemes. That's a joke, of course. Mostly. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too! We just did what you told us, and we won! I love it! As expected from a child of the former Captain of the Knights. 
Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our Professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Me? Oh, um, yes. Of course. Well done, Professor. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our Professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leone? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. That's right. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I did. I'm so happy to hear it. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing... My mission? Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I you agree with you, Seda. special within your heart. I despise repeating I have myself. High hopes for you. They Bandit really shouldn't have high hopes for me. Ah, right, why are you, you talking to me again? When we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? I make no guarantees. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. No. You're <laughs> not what, 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 what